Mahalo ka e ana mai mazumalani no keia papahana o o lalo hava itak. O au no keia o puo kamele o kameho o kipa no hoi. Aloha. I'm Puo Kamele, your host for Olalo Hawaii Talk, brought to you by the University of Hawaii Maui College's Lau'ulu Native Hawaiian Council as part of its Mahina Olalo Hawaii series at the UH Maui College Library. About myself, I am a makuahine of Ekolu Keiki Kayapuni, and I adore the program so much that I am now aspiring to be a Kumu Kayapuni myself. I started teaching in the Kayapuni this year while working on my teaching degree, but I'm still not comfortable with being called a kumu, he haumana, okay kumu ana. But I am a tutor here at UHMC, so all of you Papa Olalo Hawaii folks that I see here, you can book an appointment with me through Kako. It's totally free to you, and I love my Olalo Hawaii sessions. It's my passion, and I could talk about it all day long. In it, it's a little bit harder because it's not my first language. This is the fourth year of my Olalo Hawaii journey, about two years learning at home and two at the Kula Nui. And for me, learning the words, reading and writing it is one thing, but the whole puka, actually speaking it is something else. And my Olalo didn't really puka until pretty recently. And you know what the catalyst was? TikTok. <laughs> For real. It was TikTok. It was 2021 in the middle of COVID in isolation Hawaii that I, I made my first TikTok. I was in Kumukale Kaeo's Papa 201, which meets four days a week. And I, Ali Lava. I still needed more. So I made my first TikTok. I had my puke spoken Hawaiian, and I did one half of one dialogue and sent it out there. And you know what happened? People responded. Literally, they duetted the video. They did the other part of the dialogue with me. And from there, a world unlocked. This Olalo Hawaii talk world, where we read books together, did tongue twisters, discussed the intricacies of Hua Olalo Hawaii, Hakun mele, all in the palm of my hand, even at two o'clock in the morning. But nothing was graded, so it was no pressure. But that's how my olalo pukad from the puke into the world, from getting daily practice with real people on TikTok, which is where I met our esteemed panelists, who I'm so excited to introduce you to if you don't already know them from their work. We have a diverse panel today, real kumu, <laughs> mana leo, makua, raising their keiki maka olalo, keiki raised maka olalo, and those who fought to restore olalo to their ohana for the first time in generations. But the common thread is, their aloha ika olalo makua hine o kako, oya ka ue ike ai. So through this 90 minute papahana, we'll find out more about our panelists, how they got started, what kind of content they create, why TikTok? And if we have time, we'll close out with a brief Q and A. Ai ole nu ame pi, nino ame kapane. No Leila, please join me in welcoming our Olalo Hawaii Talk panel. Ma ke ka ina hua pi a paa, ki akamayawa, bulaki kanahele, humukui, Kamomo iha, puluke pasko, ame kakuhei loa poe poe. E ho ma kau kau kako. To our viewers today, please aloha our panelists and share in the chat where you're joining us from. Aye na hoa kipa ke olu olu, e ho olau na mai. Please introduce yourselves along with your hua kai ola lo hawaii. E malaki, ma kau kau. Aloha mai, e na pa ai na mai. Niau akalele ni hawa inu e ake a moko ke awe o o malaki kanahele hana o ya no ma puwe ni iau towa no to o matuhi ni i uhai o mero kometo o etiki ti mai hanu to o hanu mua loa hana hana ya no ma to o lelo ni iau te ano to o elelo i i hana i malam ayah putau cemanau kalau korutu maru o makahiti cemanau mahalo 
Eh, aloha no fafo. Me kai ka lohe ana, me kai. Eh, eh, eh. Ah, <coughs> nalila, aloha no fafo. O wau o kumo kui. O ko, ko i no maole no o kui ga pero. Eh, eh. <laughs> um, e kumo kula wau ma ke kula o kamehameha ma maui nei. Um, a ole wau a o i ta ole lo Hawaii i um, ma ke kula. A, a o wau i ta ole lo Hawaii i ma uh, no ke kula nui o ma ke, ma ke kula nui no kapunana leo no ka no ke kaya ulu. Uh, no hoi. Um, so aloha no kaku. Yeah, my name is Kui Gapero. I live on Maui. Um, I teach. I don't teach Hawaiian language here at um, the school that I teach at. Yeah, I teach for the community um, every po'ako. Actually, middle Wednesdays. So if you guys are on Maui, middle Wednesday night at the college, I teach Olelo Hawaii um, for Punana Leo for the community and whatnot. Um, yeah, oye wale ki i manawa. Hi, aloha no kato a Paolo. Uh, welcome. Uh, I know well, my wife, my mother, my wife, my wife, my wife, my wife, my papa, my kanaka my wife, my hana my wife, 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 Hello, everybody. My name is Kama Mo'iha. Uh, I was born in Wahiwa on uh, Oahu. Uh, my dad and his family are from Kaupo, Ulupalakua, Kipuhulu area on Maui. Uh, my mom is from California, so I, I'm the traditional hapaole. Uh, I live now currently in California, Los Angeles. Uh, I'm currently a, gosh, I don't know what a good description would be. What's the, my fancy title is a department head for a visual effects company here in Los Angeles. Uh, we do visual effects for feature films like Marvel movies and television shows like Lucifer, Gotham, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, e to u mea huakai i ao mai neva ita ola ola Hawaii ali ano ano e to huakai katumu e to ova kamali a kote neva mataorelo liki me to ma ohana ma to papa to ne ma kaiko na Hawaii a to ova opio opio na Hawaii na mea like kote neva mataorelo. Uh, in my mato mato ua mea to uva matua at mahalo no ta mayahula na kuida katumo no noia itia ho puka taleo eh ka to kumuhula or pileka yo to toni inoa he started to have Hawaiian language classes during the lockdown and for that was one of their impetuses like seeing uh pua on TikTok I saw um mea Malohia States, and I saw some other friends. And that's how actually Puluki and I met, was for the similar reason. And this was two years ago, and my olela was bad. However, I have this attitude of just like dumping in, jumping in the deep end and just charging them, just getting them. So uh, Puluki and I, for the last two years, have been holding space on Club app, Club, Clubhouse, the app on the phone, uh, the mobile app. So every Tuesday nights, uh, now we're getting into Wednesday nights, but every Tuesday nights, 4 p.m. Hawaii, Hawaii Standard Time, uh, right now 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're in there. We're reading articles, we're translating, we, I call it, call it, mahapira, just ho'olu kamea, because that's our passion right now is to, to do it. And we're seeing evidences of it taking root just like this. So, oh, I know, mahalo. Mahalo yeah. kaku, okuke, ウルウエノアカパパ。ああ。ハノイヤマカルボニア。ああ、ねえ、ハノイヤママワヘアワ。ああ。のモコケアベコハナ。ああ、メマウ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
the colonial or or manual. Uh, yeah. But I don't know if my hope can I reke uh reke put me me uh the poor. Yeah, I will I am not a hope can make a little I think a hot yeah me yeah. Uh, 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 like a hey, mama, a honey, yeah, a honey, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 uh Kama and I switched uh switched places. Yeah. <laughs> um but I didn't start learning Olelo until I had uh graduated high school and moved to um Portland and I just I missed home so much. Just everything about home. And um over there is where I, when I ordered my books and just started learning and I became your ma uh we were all level when it came home uh and yeah it really ignited a fire yeah yeah how i know taco or kakwailo poi poi ko inoa uh no kai no mo ka imeo uh wa hanno iobo ma o ahu akala bi hanna iobo ene i i ka ino ka pi o wala pue uh no ho i ane i no ko u umi ku mama hi ku u mahi ki no lela no ho i ane i no ko u ola piha ai wa a umu a wo i ko lela ho i me ko tu tu mai kam kam ai na paha ke kahi o ko ya ya o kamalu poi poi ko na i no he ku mo ya i ke kula kai puni mamua i ke kula kai puni o ko la pu u o kamana le o hope lo mako o hana o ko tutua hi niko kahi o alias kawanui a ina e wa ai wa hana i ova o mako o lo vei mai ko va pe pe mai aka a wa kula i po vei i ova o i a mako o lo vei i mai ko va papa mala o a i ko va papa e ono a lo maha pe helevo i ki kula pelkania aka a i ki mana wa helevo i na papa o lo vei i maki kula nui a pela valiaku a uh, iki ya manawa ma tikta, you know, ke ya manawa uh, ho alaha iya ka olelo a, you know, make it i ka okako olelo ana. Uh, so aloha everybody. Um, my name is Kahaku Wapunpoi. I was born on Oahu, but um, I, I was raised here in uh, Walapu e Molokai. Uh, my ohana is from all over the place. Uh, Ho'olehua, my dad's from Ho'olehua, my mother's from Honolivai. Uh, my family comes from all over, Alava, Mapulehu, Wailau, uh, Maui, Kaupo, uh, Makena, Pelavaleaku. Um, I was raised in the Hawaiian language by my tutu. You, some of you guys may be familiar with her. Her name is Kamalu Poipoi. She was uh, a teacher in the Kayapuni system. She recently retired. Um, but I also went to Hawaiian immersion school from the time I was kindergarten until I was sixth grade. And then after I go to English school, um, I'm now a senior in high school. I'm 17 years old. So uh, I've been living in Ualapue 17 years of my life, and I still take Hawaiian language classes. Right now, I'm in Hawaiian 202 uh, at the college, but I also took Hawaiian all throughout my high school uh, career. Um, and yeah, that's my mo'olelo, mahalo. Aloha kako, um, olele in kakumai awa, ko ui noa, piha, uh, no prosiri mai au, aka ikia mola, no ho, ho ma Los Angeles. Um, me e lua keiki, uh, I have a four-year-old and today a ten-month-old. Um, ano like na po e ma anei, um, you know, my Hawaiian language journey kind of start did a start and stop for a very long time. And it wasn't until the pandemic that 
I really started learning. Like my March of 2020 was Kumu Akela's Kulaivi on TV, on repeat the entire time, working through Nakai Valu when my daughter was sleeping, you know, grabbing for absolutely anything on the internet. Um, so always, a, will always be a student. Um, I didn't have the benefit of having uh, anybody teach it to me in, you know, when I was a child, but there are so many resources now. Like I can't thank Kumuipo Wong enough because you can connect with actual native speakers in Monaleo um, online. And because those resources are available, I guess that's why we're all here. <laughs> uh, but that's basically it is, you know, I'm forever teaching myself online because it's important to me to give that gift to my children. Um, you know, not so much, not always just for myself, but for them. I mean, what they're going to do with this long after I'm gone. It's about that continuation. And kala mai po kale no, because haoluli, haolulu no ho iwo. So mahalo, aloha no. Oaupu, haolulu. Aka, I see so many hoa, ho pili, makea zumalani, aloha. People coming from all over Illinois. I see Kumu. I see Ko Kumu. Olalhobai. Aloha. Um, to our viewers, Mai Hila Hila, He Ohana Kako. And we occur encourage you to use the chat to engage throughout this session and submit any questions. And we'll be collecting them for our upcoming Nu Ame P session, the QA. For our first question, how did you get into TikTok? How did you get started? What inspired you to create content, Mako Olala Hawaii? Am I lucky? Hi. Um, no to o itiano no paha ta ta erelo ta nalo wali mato o ohana ah itino kamali to o kamali ohana no namu. Matu ano ano koe to po ni ihau ai ai ano to ana ni ihau to e koe che manau tu mo ano no wo te tu 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 ma iti te o te ala ko iho o le le ala ko iho wa o no to po e me na na me o lo iho to katu ira mo tu ine o wo no to ola ni che manau e ha to o ho ala ha to wa no te ola ni ai no ano matu e hana ni ano hana e ha to o ho mata che manau e hiti ta hana no ma hape no wo te holo mua i te lako te huri hoi hope me i te ei te tutu o o te a iho me te akata kani ana te hatu e rero me te akata puana ana te e rero ta hua o lelo tu mo te lau mate i o te tiktok u au ma te ana mea tiktok ah ma te tiktok um but yeah guys i wanted for for i i never was into tiktok i only wanted for I never know I had so much people out there who wanted to learn the language. Um, I was doing them for my dialect because there's not much of us Ni'ihau left. And I seen how my family's um, Ohana, the kids, no speak Hawaiian. And for me, my first language, all the generations that's my same age, all of us, first language was Ni'ihau. But when it came to our kids, that wasn't the that wasn't what we were seeing. We were seeing them grab English first. I, I learned English when I was nine years old, so it was hard. And I never even fully, fully speak English until I started really working for my first job out here in Kauai, 21 years old. That's when I started learning the actual English people use outside. Because at home, it's all Nihau with the ohana ni hau or just the language so it's kind of why i wanted to share on tiktok but just for for the generation for learn and go back onto for resource one day you know for like hey this tutu had recorded himself um this is what they sound like 
maybe we can, you know, learn again this way of speaking. So that's my whole goal is to keep the uh, Ereo Nihau alive. Eh? Yeah, all that hard to Ereo and the Hawaiian language, all our, our language. So, Ho'ala Ho'ala to reintroduce and make home, make home known again. I'm tired of people asking me, is that Samoan? Is that Tahiti? I'm like, no, this is Hawaiian. This is Ni'ihau. This is the tongue of this land. But that's my main thing. Seeing the little kids ask me, is that Japanese? I'm like, no, this is Hawaiian. But that's my main goal is for range to do so people hear the sound of our voices. But mahalo eh. Hey, mahalo eh, oi. Mahalo eh, kao po e viki o. Olalo, olalo ni iho. Komo kui, mako kao. How did you get started? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> you know, I started TikTok just randomly. Um, My kids been looking at TikTok. My my students been looking at TikTok. And I was like, I never gonna do TikTok. I never gonna do it. Whatever. And then just one day, I just pick up the phone and I'm like, yeah, I'll go download TikTok, I'll go try it. And first video, I figure, you know what, I'm going to teach what I teach to the community. I'm just going to put out there my lessons and how I teach um, Olila Hawaii. Um, you know, because when I went to school, um, wasn't necessarily fun for me, yeah? Sitting in the language class, learning all of these grammatical structures and rules and whatnot. Um, I had to make up my own way to understand what was going on. Um, so that I could just, you know, apo kamala or just maupopo, yeah. So I could, I could get it. So that's kind of how I incorporated that into my teaching. Um, I had a good friend of mine, Kiaoni Smith. He he really kokua me um, in my teaching style. He's his the words that I'll never forget. It's like a hula, yeah. It's like a hula. Dance the hula while you're teaching so that people can remember it. And so <clears throat> that's kind of what I started to do. And then after my first video. Um, you know, thousands of views already. It's like, oh, people like this, you know? So, okay, I guess I'm just going to keep going. And then here we go. I just started to build up. And then um, I started to get introduced or see other creators out there, Puruke, um, Kahaku. And, brother, man, I, I, I think I saw you on, on Maui at the Kanu races the other, like the, the, the last race or something like that. I was like, hey, I never know he was on scene in high school. Like, holy moly, yeah. Uh, Kamo and jump on, Lucky and jump on, and I was like so happy when Lucky and jump on. I was like, yes, finally, because um, you know that's what I what I strive to hear is is Hawaiian accent. Um, you know, I I I want to hear Hawaiian accent, and I want to hear um, you know our keiki kind of bringing this accent back um, into our community. Um, so I love that. So I try to push you know whatever I can through my videos. Um, holy moly, it's plenty. Oi. <laughs> um, <laughs> and but anyway, so TikTok, you know, it wasn't really my first um, thing to, to go out there, but I figured, you know, I'll just go try. And then people loved it, responded well. Um, so I'm just going to keep going as long as it's fun, as long as people are um, learning. That's the main thing. As long as people are learning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I didn't know how quite low I was in uh, appeal. <laughs> How did you get into TikTok? Uh, gosh, there's so many different pieces to the story. Um, TikTok on the whole, I was actually adverse to social media for a while. Um, I was very active on another platform for a good number of years. So uh, I was not wanting to be on social at all. I was just obviously wako. But there is still the iini inside me, way off of the back burner, about figuring out how to holomua the, the language. And I found evidence of that in the Facebook because I was always attempting to write. But then when the COVID hit, <clears throat> I started seeing like there's another gentleman on, on Maui and my kapu uh, Ian Aquino. And I was inspired by him. And then I started seeing stuff from Malohia. And I was like, holy moly, like that's that's the the Rosetta Stone for me. Like that's where I got to go. So there is this reawakening of the ahi that I was like, okay, I'm just going to hold more and just start texting because I just borrowed from what I already knew. And then everything just started showing up for me. That my kumu came out of nowhere. 
as I was on a program to Lilo Ke Kumuhula, uh, Manalo Ia, that, that program with him. And out of that, he, he teaches at HCC, Hilo Community College as well. So he is under Tanguro Taupori. And the only reason why I'm saying their names, at some point, this is going to come back around and they're going to be like, oh, and I was like, oh, this is the guy. So there's validation there. I'm just making sure it's known now because I know how our community um, is very good about validating us. So this is the declaration. But saying that and then being in the, the lockdown, there was really no escape. So after two or three months of him giving us this impetus, he, he kind of gave us this very dire speech of like, okay, great, I gave you this. What's your function? What are you going to do with this? There's a function in hula. You may not be a, a mea hula, but you could be a lawaia. Mabaho o tahalo. But what is your function? You feed the mea hula. You feed the kuahu. You feed the kumuhula. You feed the mea apo. So what is your function? I was like, oh, okay. Thanks, Akumo. That's a heavy responsibility. But no kekuliana, I like a responsibility, an opportunity. I only have privilege. Yeah? So Mapila, I just knew I had to go find places to find others. But when TikTok showed up and I saw others in the Clubhouse app, app also showed up, those were Kahimao Hoailona, Hitiao Kehelea, Helea Tohonu. So I figured there's no excuse at this point. There's literally a plethora of people and information that were available. And then Mahina Olelo showed up, and then uh, Kumu Malia showed up, Kumu Makana Garma, Kumu Ekela Crozier, Peleach Guno. I was like, there is zero excuse whatsoever for me to Helimoa. Because I know, I, I still remember uh, Kumu Malia, there was one, a few times you, you corrected me on Clubhouse, and I was like, I was so thankful that you were correcting me. And even Auntie Akela was correcting me on Clubhouse. I was like, that's how I'm going, I'm going to learn is that. So from those moments, and I'm like, you know what? There's a lot of places and there's no shade at anybody. There's a lot of places where we start. The wine word for today is aloha. The wine word for today is mahalo. The wine word for today is opala. But where's the stuff in between? Like, I need to hear this. We need to hear this like as a thing. Hey, mea, uh, humu, humu. So my goal was like, okay, I was averse to social. Now I know what the word in Hawaiian for social media is, papaho, because I listened to the podcast, Lohia, and that was another inspiration. So doing the TikToks, if you guys look at my account, there's not a lot. There's like only maybe a dozen. But the whole point of it was to use it, my own family's stories to then tell stories in Hawaiian. But Niki met the Olelo Kauhale, Alita the Olelo Kula Nui, because that's what I grew up with. I have recordings of my family, and then they, they spoke with T's, S's, and R's. So then I kind of got the same thing as Lucky. Like when I met with uh, Makana one time in Manana on Oahu, some people came up to us and they were like, What language is that? I'm like, are you serious? This is Hawaiian. Oh, we've never heard that before. Like, that's the evidence. That's why we got to do this. That's why we have to practice this and get this out there. So we normalize this. It's no longer this romantic ideal of Fula and Hollywood. And even more of my responsibility on this side of the camera, since I work in the entertainment industry, is to say, that is not Hawaiian. That is not Hawaiian. This is Hawaiian. I will speak to you in Hawaiian. I will show you Hawaiian stuff. I even have more credibility now as a kumuhula that can tell you guys exactly what the stuff is. So it was even more important for me to go to social media to create an avenue to demonstrate what Olelo sounds like, like in the everyday life. So, oh, you know. Mahalo, Kama. Looking, how did you get started into TikTok? Um, you know, I don't know what you do in moment, but um, my first TikTok. Uh, I, I believe I was um, telling a story about <laughs> about um, swimming in the Kai. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I just I had passed the, this um, this uh, wahine trying to teach a uh, marihini uh, how to say Kai. Yeah, <laughs> and he was like Kai, Kai, Kai. I was like. Oh, really? no. <laughs> but so I just thought that was that was so funny that I had to tell somebody 
but I didn't have anybody to tell, you know? And I was like, why not tell everybody? Uh, why not tell the whole world, you know? Uh, and so, you know, just more little huma to talk. And, you know, when I was starting to learn Olelo, um, there wasn't very much material out there. It wasn't easily accessible. Um, and today, like, you know, our kupuna, our makua, they, they um, pass along stories and, and shared information to Nukapa Piraku. And so this is just, in my eyes, uh, the moona, you know, the, the, the next step, the progression of telling our story. And uh, uh, just like everybody else uh, um, that we've heard so far, you know, it's about normalizing Olelo. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, uh, similar to uh, Pumkui, I I strive to um, I strive for a for a native accent, yeah, for a Hawaiian accent, yeah, and um, to I also strive to like understand or be able to differentiate uh, accents depending on like which part of the Pai Aina you're from, yeah. And so, um, yeah, I, whenever we, I, I'm just a big, a big supporter of that, of, of, um, of continuing that native accent. Ah, uh, shucks, I totally just lost track of where I was going. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, it all had to do with just wanting to, um, wanting to make, Normalize all alone. There was one time that I was, you know, while I'll make Uma Mahani, uh, like a friend had passed by and they thought that I was speaking Tongan, you know. Uh, it's like, <laughs> yeah, you know, it hurts my heart to um, think that anybody coming to Hawaii, they don't know the yeah like we, they think that it's something else yeah and so i just want to continue to normalize it make it so easily accessible that anybody in the world would be like oh that's a level in all of these accents yeah <laughs> Ah, uh, Kalamayana, <laughs> Ah, uh, olaha i uh, kamu olelo kamu aukala pololei no hoi o kukaku kupuna. Uh, uh, mai leila mai, wa ho makawai ike i ke kaya ulu ona kanaka ma, ma tekta i ike ke olelo hawaii. So, uh, uh, eventually, wa hele au a um, ho makawai e unuhi ina, um, ina lipine mana leo. Uh, o makawo e hana ina e ka noi i ana e iki i ka okoa o ka olelo mai ke la me ke ia wahi uh, ma o ka pai aina uh, ma o ke ia mea mana leo he ano he, he ano mea e you know e ho o hi e, e I don't know e you know e ho o pa awo e ho pa na au i ko ole ho wei ya u no ka me a he ale nui na kanaka maloko ko u ole i ke ole ho wei so he me e ho pa ka ole ho wei maloko ko u no no a he me pu e ho la hai i na mo ole ko ka ko ku pu na maloko o ka ole ho wei maloko ka ole ka kanaka a e ano lilo i ka 
uh, e huli kamaka o ko uhanauna i kanui o namo olelo o kakako kupuna. Ok, la ko pahu hopu meke ia me TikTok. So, um, basically, I got into TikTok at first. It was, you know, fun, good, uh, I guess fun, you know, just whatever, play around kind of stuff. Um, sometimes I still use it like that, but, you know, that's how kids my age use it. And I realized uh, eventually it started becoming like political content where I started to, you know, um, show people the real history of Hawaii because I saw how many people were uninformed. And then from there, um, my account kind of got traction. And then I got to see that there's a lot of Kanaka out there. There's a kind of a community of Hawaiian speakers. So I don't really know exactly when it started, but I created started creating Hawaiian content and, you know, we chat in Hawaiian on TikTok and other social media, you know, I created a lot of connections from there. And nowadays, my content has started to become translations of uh, Mo'olelo, not only just Mo'olelo, but also I'm, I, I want to start showing uh, Olelo Hawaii through culture uh, and Mo'olelo because I think that's kind of how I really upload, what is the word for upload? I like grasp the Olelo Hawaii. Um, how I really grasp the Olelo Hawaii is, you know, listening to the Mo'olelo from my kupuna. Those are the stories that I remember when I was a child was listening to Mo'olelo in Olelo Hawaii. And from there, that's how my native tongue, you know, kind of continued on. And I believe that learning Olelo Hawaii through culture, you know, through things like learning about how our kupuna used to live, fishing, farming, you know, and all of these different kind of things, is it makes it easier to learn Olelo Hawaii. And I think just the translation and, you know, another thing I said was that the translation for me was a challenge. It was for me uh, to challenge myself to uh, to keep the Olel Hawaii alive because it's not a lot of people in my Ohana who speak Olel Hawaii. So it's it's a challenge for me to translate and transcribe uh, what the kupuna are saying. Well, also, uh, I think it simultaneously also helps other people because they get to not only hear the Olelo, but hear the Olelo that's attached to it and, you know, have like... I forget who said that, but they were talking about how we attach the Olelo to something. Uh, Kama, I believe, you know, it makes it easier to understand. Like, you know, just sharing these words and their basic meanings is not enough, you know, because Hawaiian is so much deeper. It's a he Olelo ho honu, o yaku ka ho honu o kokako o Elelo makuahine ma o ka Olelo haole, you know. Olelo haole he mama, no, it's light. It's not a heavy language. So you don't really get to understand everything that the Hawaiian language has to offer. So I think um, through that, attaching uh, olelo to not only more olelo, but also other things uh, is just, you know, how I got into TikTok. And now it's just become a community of hoa and, you know, kumu and, you know, just a lot of people. But yeah. Hey, mahalo. Kiakamai, how did you get into TikTok? Oh, for the record, I'm still getting into TikTok. Like, I think I just did my first stitch with you, Paul Kamele, like two weeks ago. And whoo, kahema hema, yeah? Like, it was like super shaky and there was a feedback. So I'm still learning. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, I have two kids. And for everyone that has kids, um, you know, and teaching them, you know how kids are like they're into one thing for a week and they're super into it and they watch it all the time and then next week you got to change it up and it was having trouble finding content to keep my kids interested and entertain them in olalo so i i had asked a couple of people um but then i just started creating it for ourselves and they're just video diaries of myself and my kids and how we're using the language and then they watch themselves so that's what the whole thing is is just keeping my kids entertained, but also making Olelo fun. Like what I've heard from a number of people in the community is that these kaiopuni keiki, like they'll Olelo Hawaii ma ke kula, aka mahapika ho'opuka na ma ke kula, like Olelo haole lako. So it was like, how do we make it fun? How do we make it a game? How do we make it entertainment? And for me, like, again, still starting, trying to figure it all out. But I think our keiki drive us to do things that we wouldn't normally do, you know, um, and that's that's why I think I have like seven videos. <laughs> no, no, I know. Wow. My keiki too, they love, oh, they practice so hard those um, tongue twisters. So cute. <laughs> but it, it exercises the puana. So, okay. For our next question, and we touched on this 
um, some of us did, but what type of content do you create? Is it for community language learning, conversational or intellectual discussions or something else? And if you had answered this already, then perhaps what is your favorite type of content that you create or enjoy watching? Hey, Malaki? Um, oh, my, oh, you know, am I still on? I. Oh, come on. Um, I guess the what content you posted, um, I post based on like what I experience. Um, I'm dealing with some people who are trying to, to um, restore Evi Evi Tupuna, that was disturbed and dug up, and we had to do the pule, and so I got to see that part of our, the part of Koi that I I never ever expected to go through. So I, I started talking about Ivi Kupunla a lot. Um, and I worked in the, the tourism industry and seeing how much um, ignorance come in and I love teaching them and seeing the their eyes light up, these Haole's eyes light up. I'm like, wow, this is one, one Hawaiian. This, and then I teach them all the different things. And then I started advocating for that too, because I, I let them be respectful when they come here and um aoyalako kahi and what else was the how could you to do kalabaye? What type of content do you create? Um, um yeah. all kind. I don't know what to create. I was like, oh I I am mad create. So I just start um recording everything that I can random who all that I can think of or I can don't know all. Um, and how I can break down words because plenty words like Kahaku was saying, Kohonu, um, one word, so many different meanings. And when you put on certain places, you change the meaning and the meaning can change even more deeper. So I started, you know, thinking of all the words because plenty of people had known me or asked me for teach them Hawaiian and I was like, Oh, it's so hard for teach because I was never taught to teach. I was just taught to speak and listen. So I understand mainly the Hawaii. So I just try teaching all of the words that, that I learning through how for teach and how for break down. So oh, and I try to explain certain things. It's hard. I'm like, oh teeth, baby at the tail. So I just find like oh random words that I can I can teach. Uh oh, then that's what I go do. So I, I like making that. So even um I play games sometimes with my ohana, my younger brothers, and I teach them what is ahu, and they're like, what? What is that? So I like playing with them, teaching them all those words because their generation um not ma to hearing those certain words, and it's like oh wild, you know what is um topala, and they're like what is that, you know shavol. So then like I start playing with them with that kind of stuff so that they're like oh that's how you say that oh that's how you make it that. yeah so that's that's kind of what i like doing teaching those random words but mahalo eh? yeah i love those and i i hear you yeah hey put a cakey i hear you <laughs> I, oh yeah no oh yeah i think well i think I will he no. Hey Allah hoy kalumi papa le. Hoy hamau hamau no eh. Um Manila um what kalame? Yeah, so the kind of content that I create um you know, I think about it often like who who is my audience? Like what am I doing? Um and like I said earlier, I just I just teach in Hawaiian. Um so that's kind of why I I I do those skits of um me in the classroom as a haumana, as a kumu, um, and all of these real experiences come from the classroom. Yeah. So a lot of those jokes, a lot of those things that happen actually happen. Yeah. Real life experiences. <laughs> these haumana give me good, good content. <laughs> um, but I think that's it. You know, as as we start to um, normalize Olelo Hawaii into our community, as we start to increase this engagement, um, I'm just providing resources. Um, and especially for other kumu, 
um, and other kumu that come in, you know, and teach in Hawaii, and I say, hey, just use my video. And it doesn't, it's not the only lesson. Yeah, it's a talking point for your lesson. You know, so use my video, um, expand on it. Yeah, Ex give a whole lesson, give a whole talk on, on what I'm doing. Because um, I'm not trying to explain every single little thing in, in the video. I'm just giving enough material for other people to go and learn, uh, go and do their own research, go and, um, and, and increase their own ike. And much like a lot of us here, um, you know, on this platform right here, um, we're all learners and we all learning. And I'm learning from, from all you guys too. So whatever you guys post out there, I'm, I'm learning the same thing. And I teach those lessons um, in my classes to the communities and whatnot. So I'm, I'm definitely um, alongside them. Right. Yeah, hello, Kalua. Right. Mine in now. Anyway, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, hey, <laughs> how now? Yeah, call me, yeah, but this is the life, this is the real Kumu life. And like I said, um, like how I teach on in TikTok is actually how I teach in real life. I, I, I make this hula, I do these things, um, so that people can remember it and people can always go back on it. Um, and I think I said to myself, you know, I'm not going to try and get into too much political sides of things. Like, I just want to teach Hawaiian. I, I just want to olelo Hawaii. Um, I don't want to get into any arguments. I don't want to make hoo hoo or whatever. So I'm just going to provide material for out there for others to engage with. Um, and that's it. You know, I think that's my kuleana, my doing my part for the lahui. There you go. Mahalo. Oh, we just, um, had an event at my Keiki's Kaipuni, Kula Kaipuni last night, and they were giving out your um, your handles and telling all the makoe, hey, my kai. Ikama, what type of content do you create? You did touch on it already. A little bit, small kai. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think to, I guess, elaborate and then kind of uh, give detail, it's kind of like kumukui, uh, the, the stuff that I, how I do it, it's kind of nefarious in a little way. And it, it doesn't mean that like I'm trying to trick people. That's not my goal. But I've had like experience with online marketing and, and with my experience in my industry, like what Kumukui touched on, like an avatar. Like what is an avatar? Not the avatar of the movie or the TV show, uh, the nomenclature. Like who am I looking to influence? Because my goal is to one, create a space to hear it like Uncle Lali and Kaleo Hawaii and Clinton Kanahele. Like we know those are resources now we look back onto, but where are the resources now? So me personally, when learning entrepreneurship and marketing, it's always the question like, you're, you're the man now, dog. You're it. And I remember having conversations with Uncle John Prime when Clubhouse was around. Like a bunch of us people were in the room talking about the youth today and how we do this and how we do that. And I was on my soapbox giving my opinion and Uncle John kind of dropped the mic and he says, we're the Ellen McCauley now, guy. Like, we're the uncles now that people are looking up to. So we're the men now, dog. So knowing that and how I'm trying to cater my content, the reason is to be that potential thing that somebody goes back to in the future. I don't want to be famous. I just want to contribute to the normalization. That's my goal is contribution. And here's one big thing that I learned from Auntie Akela and Paul Maikai. A couple of years ago in my infancy in speaking Hawaiian, I met up with her and uh, Paul Maikai and told them a lot of my other goals that I had. And Auntie Akela and uh, Maikai, Paul Maikai, he takes care of the Western range of Maui and, the, and, the, and Mauka. And he was telling me, you know, I go out, I pick Opala and it may not be a lot. And some of his coworkers were like, hey, bro, like, why are you picking up all that trash? He's like, well, you know what? This, this 1%, there's 10% right now is 1% or 10% less than the next person that has to pick up Opala. So I'm doing my part as a bigger whole. And I was like, oh, man, boom, the paho. And he also said, if you're a navigator, if your compass is off one, one degree, way off in the horizon, you're off like 100, 200, 300 miles. So your little small course change right now may not seem huge, but way down the line, it's going to be massive. So Auntie Akela is like, that can be the name of your company when you make your company. It's one degree. Because your one degree of change right there is going to influence everybody down the line. I was like, oh, I'm on board. I'm so on board with that. 
So the content, how I'm doing it is like Mary Poppins, spoon full of sugar makes the medicine go down. How, how you make it? It's just like kumukui. You make it so fun, entertaining, and relevant right now to a lot of us. We want to consume that. Like, yeah, give us more medicine, please. Make it fun. So that's why I tell my dad stories, like how, how he was he and his brother stole the pig, and they slaughtered the pig, and gave it back to his uncle, a drunk, seasoned pig, basically. I told stories like that, or the kukai brothers, like those stories. Like, There's a reason for that, because they were real. They happen, and they're being told in Hawaiian as if them telling stories to somebody on the content. So that's the reason and that's the kind of content I want to make is something like that. And I also want to echo Kumukui that I, I'm avoiding political realms and arenas. Not to say I don't have an opinion. Like I have a lot of strong opinions. I'm just trying to choose my, my battles and my paths. So, oh, you know. Yeah, that's the, that's the closed room on Clubhouse that's not <laughs> recorded. Oh, yeah. Um, well, okay. What type of content do you create? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that is a closed room on, on Clubhouse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, by the way, quick plug, guys. Sorry. Um, uh, we have a, a Pui on Clubhouse called the Hua. Yeah. Um, and every Tuesday and right now every every Wednesday, um, we meet just to like uh, just to kind of like grow and and hope on that so all of it. yeah um the first hour is usually recorded and then after that we close it down and open up another room so that we can just converse talk story and we don't have to like worry yeah no hope hope, hope. um anyway uh my content yeah is Usually it's just talking story, you know, telling stories um, from this Kanaka's um, worldview. Yeah. Uh, and trying to tell, I guess, Kanaka stories um, from a Kanaka worldview. Um, and showing that we can participate, like, in the greater world, yeah, without without losing um, that identity, yeah, because I know a lot of people they get you start getting into um, that kind of identity and they feel like they have to like, just give up everything else um, in the world that interests them, but. I know that our pupuna were, if they were hoi hoi to something, yeah, they incorporated it into their lives. They incorporated it into their uh, their culture, yeah. And so, you know, we gotta continue to grow as a people while still holding strong to um, our our uh, our ideals, yeah, uh, our, that identity. Yeah. I usually try to make my my more level pretty um pretty funny or have some relevance, yeah. Because if if it's not important to anybody, then what's the point of uh, of sharing it? Yeah. Yeah. Mahalo. You did touch on this already, but if you'd like to add. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, just, you know, ever since I found out that you can go into the TikTok things, you press the adjust clips and you can like add how many ever words you want. I was like, okay, I'm just going to play around with this. And that's just how it started. And um, now it's just been, you know, transcribing and translating and sharing this Mo'olelo. And, you know, the reason for Mo'olelo is, yeah, like I said, it's just, I think that's what is interesting to me. And also, um, now I've been trying to post more relevant um, things regarding, um, regarding which recordings I'm choosing. So like, for example, right now, I'm trying to do like a segment, I guess, not really a segment, but a a group of videos regarding childbirth and midwifery because of the um 
because of in the Hawaii legislation, how they're um, trying to uh, make midwives have a license to practice, uh, whereas, you know, Hawaiians have been practicing that for generations and generations. And I think sharing those kind of mo'olelo make it relevant to, you know, uh, making it relevant to situations that we have today is kind of what I'm trying to, is what my goal is. And also to just share um, Hawaiian lifestyle um, of, you know, our kupuna. But yeah, that's basically my content now. Mahalo. Um, I mean, touched on what I'm doing. I think what I what I hope to do is is make connections because that's what we are. We are a community. We and that's how we're going to get stronger. So I'm hoping that you know, make olalo like hila Like you just got to go out there and do it. And hopefully, somewhere along the way, some other parent is going to be like, oh yeah, I do this. You know, this is how I translate Snow White with my kids. Let me put that out there. Uh, I, I saw Kaolana here before. I'm looking at you, Kaolana. <laughs> but, you know, like, I don't want to say inspire, but like as a community, just going, yes, I, I do that too. I would like to share that with you and in, you know, helping each other get stronger. We, you know, sure, done, done. Yeah, I love your, I love your video. I love your video and, and strengthening it so that we keep pushing that content out there and normalizing it, which is, seems to be the goal for, for all of us here. Yeah, the community is a big one for me. Or else I wouldn't know you folks. Oh, yeah. How does TikTok extend the reach of Olelo Hawaii? Malaki? Oh. Ali hiki ke lohe iya. Oi, tite lo ya u. Titi. Aya. Um, how does TikTok? Yeah, how can How does TikTok extend? Mm -hmm. Or um, what's the benefits of having Olala Hawaii on TikTok? Oh, um, kiti kato te te hui hui meta meta po awa o te po e te kato la hui po ino e e matini e imi chena awa um yeah oh am ya nui to poete hitite hitirato te hui hitirato te connect te me ta ikta hi me cha ma pa ai na tu ka tu i ole kona pa ka le poni pa uta pa um lo u lo o hana wa ne i wa ka hi so i have family that moved out and you know it would be nice um to see all the different connections on how far we as Kanakas go and still hold that connection, you know, throughout the Motu, wherever we go. And TikTok is, is you know, we I met so many people that's Ohana that have moved away and I'm like, wow, you know, I don't know what TikTok was this big. So, mahalo TikTok for Ho'olahani, um, everything around us, all the people that we connect and we meet with and, but we continue eh, for for ma uh, for itaita kita kita you know encourage and um pay pay kita kita um uplift one another and that's what we need more of and thank God we get technology yeah, nowadays so we can just eh hey, you like learn you just you just tell me the p you just go on TikTok Instagram and go live with somebody and oh the first time I go live with somebody I'm like wow so. Chippy, we can, you could be Honolulu, Bowie, Ayala, and we still can connect. And that's that's one of the benefits of having TikTok is we have that and we have Kitahi Kitahi and Mai Hila Hila. You know, we got to get rid of the Hila Hila and, and come come back. And, you know, that's my encouragement is Mai Hila Hila. You know, and that's the only way we're going to grow is if we. You know, Heli Waho and Ao and Olohe and Tato and Tuta Tuta and Hui is, you know, through these apps. So, eh, hey, Mahalo TikTok. So, that's that's my thing on TikTok. Yeah, I saw your first live. I couldn't turn it off. It was so late. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have, <laughs> oh, I have to go to teach tomorrow. I, I had to turn it off. <laughs> okay. Um, Kumukui, 
how does TikTok extend the reach of Olala Hawaii or what are the benefits? You know, this TikTok, um, like I said, when I first started, I didn't even know what I was doing. Um, but then I started to connect with people from Aotearoa, um, you know, and, and started to learn, you know, their languages and, and see those connections. And they're like, oh, this is the same, in, the same with for us. It's the same for us over here and blah, blah, blah. And that's kind of one of the lessons that I teach to our homana is, is we all ohana across the Pacific. Yeah? We all ohana. And one of the questions that I raise is like, how did our kupuna communicate with each other with all these variations of language? We had to know how to hear each other, listen to each other, pick out those key words so that we could maupopo. I was like, was there a common Pacific language? Was there just, you know, you just knew it. You know, what was it? And so with TikTok, I'm thinking this is it right here. This is this is how we communicate with each other. The variations in language, the, the differences in how we olelo um, can be heard through TikTok. And now, you know, I'm 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 super happy because now it's not just the standard, you know, what you learn in school. This is how you gotta talk, the only way you gotta talk. Now we hear those different different uh different variations and like Kahaku was saying, like or and Puluke, like I like know where you're from based on how you talk, you know, and and if I, if I can olelo with you and, and know where you come from without even saying mohe my oi, you know, based off of your, the, your accent, the way you're speaking, this is beautiful. Like when Lucky is talking, I'm telling my Hawana, be quiet, like listen to his accent, just listen, where he from, you know? Um, and TikTok is just, is doing it, right? It's normalizing olelo Hawaii across the world, really. And I get people from America land, from wherever land, from Disneyland, all over saying, oh, it's so nice to hear your language. It's so beautiful to hear your language. Like, beautiful. Stay tuned because you can hear more. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was thinking, oh, Olelo Hawaii. I'm going to reach um, Hawaiian, Hawaii, Hawaii, but the whole Pacific community too, Samoa and Aotearoa. Beautiful. Come on. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, know? Oh, I feel like How does TikTok extend the reach of Olelo Hawaii and what are the benefits of having it? Oh, so this, this right here is the benefits. I mean, it's, an, it's inex inescapable. You, you can't deny it. This is the C generation, the Hua. Um, and also for me, my example is it's a key to unlocking the past. So the benefits of it is about the whole adage for our perception of time in our culture. How, you, how do you say the future and how do you say the past? Because we're always looking toward the past to move into the future. And without this hui, then we're not able to hapai as a group still yet with our own language, even though I know we're very strong as a community, but I think this is another piece of that puzzle. And I think for the key, me personally, it helps me unlock my past with my, my, my family, my father, because like one of his stories he always left with me growing up was like, if ever you're going to learn Hawaiian, and it's just, it, it always stuck with me, S speak like the, the Niihau. And I was like, what the hell is that about? Because I didn't know back then the differences of, of intonation and dialect. But he was very one of the few people who were allowed to land on the Yihau because he was a merchant marine back then in the 50s or the 60s. And around that time, they were doing the atomic testing out there, like Johnson Atoll and Kiribati and whatnot. And he would do stops off in the Yihau. And he realized then that there was a connection, there's a pirina with the accent and the dialect. Because we, very niche have those intonations not as strong as the like monoculum but as far as tiktok itself it's a it's a key it's putting us not just me in the right places so that we're exposed to having these conversations and one of the things i've asked my kumuhula is like how do i get to be a part of conversations that thrust us beyond what we're trying to do but also aspire what we're going to do uh, one particular kumu at uh, Kula Nui or oh, Kaimi Orange, we had a conversation once and Kael too, where I asked the question, how do we elevate our, not, not to say that we're behind the times or anything, I'm not alluding to that, but the conversations of like UN 
type conversations, world court conversations, like Dr. Kyan Musai and his male, like there's a whole other facet of our Lahui that we don't know about because he's an academic um, political scientist and operates at that level of academia. And I'm like, how do we get into those spaces with our Olelo? What is What are those things? And without TikTok, without social media now as our key, how do we influence the other, other haumana in this particular Zoom to leave our influence? TikTok is it. So, oh, you know. Wow, fully. Look at Komana. Hiki no kaku. These guys almost said everything already, but um, Komana or TikTok, yeah, he may make it enough for me. Hiki, hiki, na pili na mawaino or kapoi havei ali kapoi havei vali no. Aka hiki ki iki ina pilina amina oko a mavaina ona poe hawa ina poe paki pika na poe poli niki a pela vale aku. You know, ma tiktak ike wau ina kanaka maiko nikia, mele nikia, poli nikia noho i enana niko mo poe vi piki o. So I'm like, you know, wow. Nui na pilina mavaina o kako a ali ka hawa i vale no. Aka, you know, nui na pilina mabaina ona mo olelo na kanaka ilikini ame na kanaka hawaii i ape lawale uh, you know so make ike ike kako ike lamo uh, pilina mabaina a a like me a uh, kako muku i olelo a uh, ipu kako you know make ika ike ana ika oko a uh, oko kako olelo a ka ho mau ana i kapu ana oko kako kupuna so uh, Hiki no, you know, Iko Puana Valle Anna Oko Leo, Hiki no, Kekahi, Kemopo, Noheme Oi. So, like, yeah, what everybody was saying basically, it's it's awesome to see the connections and the differences between different people in Hawaii, not only just different people in Hawaii, but even different Pacific nations and Pacific islands. And it kind of inspired me too in some of my projects uh, in, my, in my college classes I'm currently doing uh, in Bob Lake. You know, looking at cognancy between Hawaiian and other languages and certain uh, dialectical differences and things like that. But I just think um, being on TikTok gives us connections and it also helps us to know our differences. And it, we have connections all over the world from, you know, Aotearoa to Samoa to the Marquesas to even, you know, Native Americans and all over the world. But yeah. How do you think um, TikTok extends the reach of Olelo Hawaii? I mean, aside from all the smart things you've already said. <laughs> um, but actually, the, I think uh, another benefit is like you don't you don't have to speak. You don't have to know anything. You can be a part of the movement and show your support and just, you know, like and share and all of it. Like that's the kind of beautiful thing about social media is that if that's all you want to do is be a spectator, you can, but you can still be a part of the movement. And I feel like once you become a part of the movement, you're going to get sucked in. And it's, that's the, a beautiful, fulfilling thing about, like we said, this community that, that we're all a part of. I mean, look at all these great faces here. I fully. Okay, we're coming up to the end of our program pretty soon. And so now we'll open up for questions. Uh, I saw a question in the chat and it was in a kanaka ho'olele TikTok. I o ko maka IG kekahi ina no oe oe olua o ko malila. Um, yeah, maka maka oe oe haia o ko malila. Um, if you have your IG and you would like to share it, can um, put it into the chat. I'm not sure. Um, I have all your folks TikToks, but I'm not sure if it's the same for everyone on IG. And if you have a Nino, you can type it into the chat or And I think the first, the protocol for answering questions for this will be if you, one of the panelists, have a pane, then pane mai. I will try it like that. <laughs> you know, oh yeah, okay. And Nino, my yeah. 
मैं ही लहिला Okay, there is one question from earlier from Kumu Kiki. I think the um, Halmana just swapped out, possibly. However, from earlier, Kumu Kiki Hayward, ame Halmana o kapapa umikuma kahi me umikuma lua no ke kula kai puni o ehu no ikai malino makona aloha. Um, o kau poe Halmana he mo poe hana TikTok. Okomako no ho nana ana pehe hana e iliki ka oko e hana na mako lelo. No lelo mako e mahalo nui ne ya oko ik aima ya mako e no ho. Ah, lo. He manao faha kake kai. Oh, I guess I could try. Um, yeah. <clears throat> you know, um within kulakaya punni um my, my i i have three keiki of my own and they um two of them right go or are in the immersion program and um i strongly encourage them to play in hawaiian um cuz i ask them all the time you know uh wapa anni ya ka olelo ya ya ka olelo uh ya ka ya ka olelo ya like what what language do you guys play in uh, majority of the time it's in english And so I encourage them. I teach them some games and whatnot. It's like teach your friends, you know, speak Hawaiian while you play. Um, it shouldn't be limited to just the classroom. Go outside and speak Hawaiian while you play. And so, um, you know, for Kayapuni, for maybe for your Hawaiian, that could be an encouragement. Um, you know, for people start playing games in Hawaiian. Um, teach your teach your your fellow classmates, your other students and whatnot. Hua Papa, um, those those kind of activities. Yeah, because if 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 that's not being seen or heard by anybody, then the norm is to go outside and speak English. Yeah, and I know it's not every every kula, um, but especially with my Kiki and their their learning journey, I'm I'm really pushing them. It's like olelo Hawaii, you know, manawa po, you know, wahia po. Yeah, not just limited to the classroom. Um, so maybe you know, just some thoughts. Play in Hawaiian and you know do those games. <laughs> Yeah, we had a game night at my kids' Kula Kai Pony last night. They went and they played Minecraft, and they played—I forget all the games—but it was it was great fun seeing them playing Mako Olelo Hawaii. And at home too, we play um, video games, Pa'ani Vikio, and it just incentivizes them to want to Olelo. Oh yeah, from Dun Dun for someone new who is also on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, no te hara ay man. Yeah, I like Okana. You know, for someone new to the language, where do they start, and where is social media in this learning journey? Uh, I can jump in. So, where to start and where social media jump uh, come in? So, the starting is just choosing. There's no right landing space, honestly. They're now in a point in time where we can choose from Ehoopili Mai to Duolingo to Tapa is the Hui that Luke and I created. It's just really choosing a landing spot, really. And then from there, it's just then how do you practice it? And I was trying to find my book. One of the things I shared on TikTok was one of my methods that I used early on when I was getting a little more accelerated. But doing that was meaning I had to be very attentive to words I couldn't figure out. So I, I had I lost my book. I know where's that. I had a book, so I'm writing down all this vocabulary words I've never heard. And I was like, oh wait, I actually have heard this, but I'll learn it and circle back around, and I'll I'll kind of manipulate a conversation to drop the words and practice it. But I would the thing that I did that leads up to that though is I I talk to myself all the time. Openly, not just in my head, because I need to hear it. I need to hear it constantly. I need to feel feel what it feels like on the tongue, in my throat, in my in my oh, in my head. Like when you chant, there's like multiple chambers. When you chant, you feel it resonate. So there's one tactic: is just writing down vocabulary, practicing it, and just talk to yourself all the time, because it becomes ma'a. You you get used to the sounds, and I will share from my own experience. After a while, what's even funnier is that 
my responses now to my coworkers at work, if not clients, like multi-million dollar deals. I'm in these meetings. And some of the first words that come out of my mouth are Hawaiian. And I'm laughing to myself, like, yes, this is exactly what I want. I want this to be first. And then they're going to, excuse me, what did you just say? Oh, call. I'm like, oh, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. You know, that kind of a thing. So it's the repetitiveness, write it down, practice it, put post-it notes on your refrigerator. You know, that's tactics that I've done to remember that stuff. I'm going to jump in. I'm going to add in to this one too. Um, so when I, like in my Hawaiian 101 class that I teach in the very, very, very beginning, early learners is just like come ahead touch. They just talk, just talk to yourself. And one of my very first homeworks that I give to my home on now is that you driving home, um, you know, read the street signs, Makolelo Hawaii, um, spell the street signs, Makolelo Hawaii. You come to a stoplight, roll on your window, talk to the guy on the road. Hey, wait, go you know. The brother man not gonna even understand, maybe, you know, or maybe he does. If he answers back, good, make kai. But if not, who cares? You still speak in Hawaii, right? Because your mouth is a muscle and it needs to work out. Yeah, it needs to practice speaking Hawaiian. So just speak Hawaiian all the time. Speak olelo. Yeah, olelo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I found my book. So, real quick. Yeah, I was lucky. So, you see, I'm like literally writing stuff down constantly. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, one of the recent entries, there's still a lot of free classes that are out there. And one of the classes I signed up for, no matter what level I'm currently at, there's always nuggets in other spaces. So I choose where I can. And so right now I'm in, I'm uh, Hawaii Lakam, uh, uh, Kaluhi Aloha has a, a basic conversation in Hawaiian going on Monday nights, three hour class. But even though I think I may know the stuff that she's teaching, she's still teaching stuff that you should know, like possessives of like k -less. You know, stuff like that is like, ah, boom, like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Write it down. So now it's in the book. I'm going to go back and find ways on Tuesday nights to drop it back in and keep practicing it. So you have to be mindful about what your goal is. I, I can add one more. I mean, based on everything they said, one of the things that I did a lot as far as like trying to speak I would try to, like, I would take a story from my life, anything from your childhood, something that happened yesterday, and then say it in Hawaiian as long as you possibly can. And, you know, while you're driving, like you said, like Kumukui said, and then when you get stuck, go, hey, Siri, remind me to go look up the word street and, and look it up later. But whatever it is, just keep going. You're like, oh, shoot, I don't know how to say that. Jump to the next part of your story because that's what's familiar to you. And when you start making it familiar, it... I don't know, it's, it's like you, it, it starts opening up like other areas going, oh, now I know how to, now I know how to talk about myself in Hawaii. And that's a great jumping off point. I, uh, I, can, I can add on to that as well. I, um, one of the things that I did, and I'm sure um, many of us have, um, when we began learning was to listen to Pipine. And it just like, so I would just listen to it and listen to it and listen to it. And um, I would practice their, their um, kuana, yeah, all the time, yeah. And so like just a simple, a small, not even a whole word, just like say a diphthong, yeah, the A or the O or the O. Yeah, I would just practice and practice and practice. And so that like, when I began to speak more, yeah, I didn't have such a strong uh, American accent in my Oledo, yeah. Uh, it was more um, based upon what I had learned at that time. And yeah, I would speak to myself all the time. My, my, uh, the first thing that I would do was, is think out that whole um, thought, that whole sentence, what I'm uh, wanting to say uh, in Olelo. Like, how do I say this? How do I say that? How do I say this? And then similar to Takamai, uh, if I didn't know how to say that and I wasn't able to look it up immediately, I just jot down a note or have some kind of reminder and check back with it later, yeah. 
I used to fall asleep to Lipine just to get my ears used to her voices. My kai, my kai ke manao. Well, I'm gonna have one more, uh, and I think it's important. It's to use it with people, to practice, 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 but also have people to practice with that you can feel safe in making those mistakes with. Yeah, like all those guys on TikTok. Hell, am I? Okay, we have about five minutes left, so let's see. Uh, a question what are some techniques okay we think we already kind of covered this one um, but if you have something else to add to this you know what are some techniques that you can share on how you learn Hawaiian covered oh yeah <laughs> okay and then well, first of all, mahalo for thinking that this is something you want to share with your um haumana. <laughs> mahalo. And this will be posted up on the UHMC Library's YouTube page after the presenters approve the recording. And we will send an, the link out via email to all you folks, along with the survey for feedback. Himo Nino Hoaku, any more Nino? I'm doing my backwards count from five. I just want to say thank you to all of you folks. My or Kaulanako, you know, no Hoao, my Kalipuni, no, no, Waimanalo, my young. I'm just learning a little Hawaii while we've been learning for a couple of years now and um, I've gotten a lot of, um, like, I recognize Kama and Puluke, Kiakamai, uh, Kumukui, my family and I follow you on, on, on Instagram, and I tell you, my kids love your videos. Um, Kahaku, we need to follow you now. I didn't, we don't, I don't have TikTok, but I think I'm going to go get TikTok today. But I just want to say thank you to all you folks um, for what you, what you folks are doing for Olelo Hawaii, because for us in the mainland, well, for me and my family, being in the mainland is kind of hard eh, to, um, so I had to learn on my own for a long time. And then thankfully, Kumu Ipo, and then we met friends like Pua Kobele, and Kea Kamae, Puluke, and Puluke Ma. And so they really helped us. And so thank you all for your your everything you folks do for the Olelo Hawaii community and especially for my family. You guys don't know it, but you're a big, you're a big imprint on on the Puvai, on the on our family. So thank you so much. Oh hello, Kalana. No mato ke haoli. No kato ke haoli. Hello, no kako. Hey, Vicky, Vicky. Hey, Ola, lo Vicky, Vicky, ke iya. Kalau ay kuli kuli ke Ola, Ola. Ayo ba makapapa iki yaman ba? Ay kumukue. Ah, um, no la la. Hey, bahileo mahalo ke iya ke kahi. No ko oko hana nui. Ah, no ko oko ho Ola ana ike iya. Ola lo makua hine a kako. Ah, Ola vo a o ika Ola lo um a ika va ke iya ba. A ike iya manawa. Um, 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 Ke kahi kanaka i ano ho i <laughs> i ini ho i ini ka, ke ia ahi o loko o nana vau ya YouTube a uh, iki vau i ke kahi video a uh, oi i kahi aku nei i nakanaka e hele mai a uh, bala au me oi <laughs> and i eva oh nani ke nakanaka maki maki o lelo havai e a o aku ana e a o ana i ka o lelo i hiki ke bala au ya <laughs> No, Leila, mahalo. Ya oi, ya o kopa kahi apau. <laughs> Ola ka olelo.
Um, <laughs> Mahalo. Hi. Yeah. Um, you know, just to uh, kind of touch on one of the questions that was uh, earlier about how how uh, TikTok uh, extends the our our reach. Yeah. Like, I have had this like burning desire in my now to Olelo. Yeah. And to make it like a part of everyday life. Yeah. And um, not for not just for us here in Hawaii, but for all of our diaspora, Moaho. Yeah. And so that's um, part of the reason why um, I continue to put stuff out um, on the Puma really, because sometimes that's the only connection that, that they have, Oahu to home yeah to the roots and so for us that are that are here on the aina and connected um i think the best thing that we can do to help everybody outside is to continue to um share our experiences yeah mahalo no na na make it Hey, oh, yeah, I was going to add one, one last thing too. Um, one of the main uh, reasons I got on TikTok and started making videos was to, <clears throat> I saw Puluke, uh, Malaki, and uh, Nanapo, Nanapo, and Hohana Kahi Maulumi at live, uh, but Ali Tiao Ke Hui, because Ali, ali Lava na Hai, na, na Mea Hai. I didn't have enough followers. And I was like, ah, that's dumb. TikTok is dumb. So the only way that I can participate, it was almost like an achievement. Like, okay, what do I do to make quality content that serves people? So I can get on a live with Malaki and those guys. And I was like, this sucks. Like, I really want to participate. Because there's one time when you, you, the first time you came on live with Malaki, I was like, wow. I think you were talking to your cousin or somebody or a friend of yours where she was in the back of a car with her kid and you guys are going. And I was like, oh, I so badly want to join. How do I get there? How do I get there? Like, okay, I, I got to do my part. Okay, so so one of the other nefarious reasons why I'm on TikTok is so I can be on live with you guys too to Walao. Hi, 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 hi. 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 Um, because, like we were saying, like people looking, people but looking. Like, you want a whole like whole mile, right? So you, if you guys are looking for friends, you're looking for somebody to talk to. Lakamai, lakamai yao, lakamai na po ea pau, e like kama, kaulana, kalani kai, o pau. Like we live, maka aina e. We're looking for friends too. So lakamai, we'll talk to you. <laughs> yeah, matter of fact, we, so this thing, and I'm going farther, but this thing that Puruke and I created, the mini Puruke, I throw him under the bus all the time. And I always attribute a lot of my success with, because of our exposure with him. But the group that we created is called Tapa, T A T A P A, Tapa, like the yard where we I call it Kole and Helia and Oikeaku, na mea ia, but Tapa. So we're starting our own space, but we have a Discord server. It's not like super active, but the people can come voila out and share and ask questions. Like, and one of the topics that we talk about too is like, um, yeah. The ano olelo, the kaila, like the styles, because like someone people hear me speak, they assume that I'm somehow connected to the and I've said that before, and I'm like, no, 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 I, I, no. But it's the inference that there's a lot of details, like what Kahaku was saying. There's a lot of depth to our language that, and also what Kumukui was saying. You know that person where they're from based on dialect. And I'm gonna throw Dundun under the bus on this one. So in the three of us, me, Puruki, and Dundun were, were chatting. We had three different accents. And it was, talk about trying to learn Hawaii on top of that. And then now you have multiple accents. So half the time, you know, what was the word Puruki? Hao hao. And he was like, tau tau. I'm like, are you serious? I'm like, what does that mean? So we had, a, we, we were forced to learn. Matter of fact, there's a fourth person when I throw under the bus, Kalanikai, another gentleman. Like that guy is a massive source of inspiration for a lot of us. Because no, don't, don't die. Don't you say yes? You you, you take it because this guy shows up all the time. But his manao is also one that spurs us on to continue with learning Hawaiian, the style, the intonations, the sounds, just like Balaki, just like Kumukui. We're always inspired. So we're trying to find other spaces for others to come in, ask questions, learn. 
because we realize we cannot continue to do this on our own. We have to find ways to help others get in there. So, you know. Yeah. Mahalo. Ukani kahola. Ena e ina he manau ho aku e malaki kakai loa kumukui. Ah, mahalo vale a hoe e po kumele no kalau na ane yama ko yene i ki ala kako i yene i. As ya he me anu e po la hai ko kaku mo ole lo ma TikTok po la hai ko kaku mo mana o e pi ane i ki me a ah you know mai po ina na me a po a kaku a po e ole lo ane he he koi koi. Everything that we said that we've been that we were saying it was is important, you know, uh, the connection, the ways that we engage and we have fun, or you know, just learning olelo in general is so important. You know, hemea ipapa ia nokukaku moku puna iki ala hemea lahu ahuale. You know, back in the days it was banned, and now it's beautiful to see that you know our olelo is alive and people are. Uh, Living it, so yeah, e ola ko ala Hawaii. Ola. E ola no mahalo no ia o e pua ma kala kala pou ma ki a lumi zumi, eh? E mahalo no ia o ho. Yeah, no, o ia no mahalo no. Ipuleo. Mahale auto, mahale aku kembali untuk tak kena anak mai. Ilele mai nuna zoom, mahala aku tak tu elelo. Mahale auto patai aku teri anak mai. Mulelo ayah ibu tu tu, olelo tu tu. Um, ala ehele nak ya tu no eh omau ya katu. Mahala aku tak tu elelo. Ah, aku mai teri mai katu patai aku buk tahi. Um, mesti elo plan oleh katu patai aku mahalo ya auto. Mete aloha plena ole e mahalo. Ito mahalo piha. E mahalo piha ya oko e panelist. Mahalo, you know, hao lulu nui ke ia ka me oko. O me kai. Mahalo. Ola ia ka makaloha. Ola ia aloha.